putting a new band together, and I'd like you to be a part of it. So I said, okay. I went down to rehearsal, and Frank, I thought we were going to be playing this kind of advanced music, you know, this kind of advanced orchestral music. And the first thing we did, Mark, Howard, Jeff Simmons, and Ainsley Dunbar were there, and, and um, Ian Underwood. And he, we were doing... And I said, uh, Frank, I can't... I, he says, what's wrong? I said, I can't do this. And he says, why? Is something wrong with your hand? I said, no, no, I, I, uh, I just can't play that. And he says, oh, all you got to do is... I said, but I can't do that, Frank. And he says, oh, you mean it's beneath you? I said, well, uh, I didn't study all these years at the conservatory to, to start playing. Any. So anyway, the greatest thing that happened in my life was that Frank broke down these ridiculous barriers that I had about music. He was a workaholic. So we would be doing things... And it was like, we would rehearse forever. We would play shows that just went on and on and on and on. It was almost like Frank knew that he didn't have a lot of time and he had a lot to say. This is really amazing to me. And he packed a lot into a short life. It's really unfortunate, you know. I, I can't imagine what he would be doing now, you know. I miss him a lot, you know. I just want to say that. Frank was wide open musically. He loved everything and he loved uh, music that didn't quite go together he would force it to go together I mean he would take the 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 most beautiful melody you know with an orchestra or something and just and throw a, a wrench in it you know that was who Frank was and sometimes it used to drive me crazy I said Frank this is too beautiful you can't mess it up yeah you know it needs to be messed up and that's that was his whole thing and I learned something from that you know I play Bach chorale and you know I wanted to play Mozart or, or, or some jazz, you know. I wanted to be heavy, you know. And as I said before, he detested the word heavy. So, but anyway, he would put, he says, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy you a synthesizer and I'm going to put it on your keyboard. And whenever you feel like messing with it, you know, he says, you may bump it every now and then, it'll make a sound. And then, uh, you know, I'll just leave it there. And so he left it there, and occasionally I would start, you know, I would <laughs> come in before rehearsal, and I would, mm, it would make a noise, and then I would push it in, and I don't want to play that thing. I said, I can't do this, Frank. So he put it there one day, and then he, he had Ian set up a little sound for me. And I started playing, and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And you could bend notes. You could bend notes. I'm a piano player. You can't bend notes. I can bend note. I mean, I can be like Johnny Guitar Watson, or I can be play the blues on a synthesizer. I said, that's... I was sitting down at the, at the, at the keyboards, and he says, uh, well, I need you to sing this note. And I said, I don't sing. And he says, George, we need you to sing this note. Can you sing? Uh, I said, yeah, I can do that. He said, all you got to do is da, hit that note. You know, when, when I cue, he cue. Da, I said, okay, I can do that. And that's how it started. It became more and more and more. And eventually I was doing did a vehicle come from somewhere around there just to land in the Andes. Was it running? Did it have a motor or was it something different? It, it ran into that. Man, I was totally in it. And this band I that that I was in, I think his best band, man, that band could play anything. And I go back nowadays and listen to that music, and I don't know how in the world we did it. I, it's just amazing to me. We instinctively knew what Frank wanted. He would just he'd go like, <laughs> and we knew exactly what to do, and Frank just loved it. And not only that, I got to tell you one other thing. He was totally underrated as a guitarist, totally.